All right, welcome back, Tech Tip Tuesday. Please subscribe down below. That way, every time we post one of these videos, you'll be able to know. You'll have all that information. You can be part of our circle and be one of our friends. Yay! No, but yes, subscribing below, please. Now, what we're gonna talk about today is Wi-Fi, okay? On your phone, you may notice sometimes you'll see something that looks like this, right? Where all your bars are lit up and you're going, man, I have great Wi-Fi. But then you try and stream something and you get the spinning circle of death, okay? You try and load something, it just doesn't load. You try and download a photo and it doesn't download. Well, there's a big misconception with mobile devices especially when we're talking about wireless, okay? Because what happens, that mobile device, because it's running on battery power and your wireless signal is running off of the wiring in your home, that wireless signal is very, very strong, but your phone is weak. So what will happen is your phone will see full signal strength, but then it doesn't have enough power to actually send it back to the wireless antenna. To make matters even worse, what's going on right now is that we're starting to see the 5.8 spec, which is sometimes referred to as wireless AC. Okay, wireless AC, it's a higher frequency so it can go faster. Problem is it doesn't go as far. So that means instead of wireless giving coverage up to about a 3,000 square foot home, we're now seeing coverage, a drop in that about 30%. So now we're starting to see a max coverage of about 2,000, 1,800 square feet. So something to keep in mind, if you have that faster internet speed into your home, you really want that 5.8 speed. But to get the 5.8 speed, you need more antennas, okay? That's your tech tip for today is when we're looking at antennas, whether it be something like Eero, something like Ruckus, something like Planet, something like Arachnus, whatever partner you choose, we want to show you a couple of the big differences, okay? We have about three or four different wireless providers we sell. Absolutely, bar none question, it is Ruckus. Ruckus is number one over and over and over. We put in Ruckus systems that are online for 400, 500 days, never been rebooted, okay? We actually took the housings of a couple of them and opened it up for you guys, okay? So, first one is Planet. This is the inside of a Planet. What they advertise is a 1200 megabit, insanely fast, blah, 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 all this other marketing stuff. It's only about 250 bucks. So, not that impressive of a piece when we actually break it open, okay? When you break it open, very, very tight circuit board. They packed a lot of stuff in there. In turn, it can create some interference. The other thing that's actually quite funny is if you look at it, these are their actual antennas. And if you notice, they actually have two of them because they realized when they did one, it didn't work very good, so we added a second one. Now this is referred to as, to go and to make it all techie, this is a two by two, which means we actually have these two antennas that can send and receive, and these two that can send and receive, so it's a two by two. But what they're trying to do here is take an inexpensive access point with limited engineering and make it work really well. The problem is it just doesn't. Do we sell these? Yes. Do we sell a lot of them? Yes. Do they work as good as Ruckus? Not even close. But if you need wireless, if you're budget constrained, Planet and Arachnus, the two partners we'd recommend, they both make a decent product. It's just not an exceptional product, okay? The other one that we're gonna look at is our Ruckus product. So this is what's referred to as a Ruckus 510. Very, very different. You guys obviously have a hard time measuring weight over there in video, but this one weighs roughly four to five times the weight of this one. Not that weight is your factor in regard to overall wireless quality, but just look at their antennas. Look at how goofy these antennas are. Ruckus got started in the commercial world. They know how to get around interference. They know how to make things work when it doesn't work anywhere else and people complain. Like I said, we've been putting in Ruckus for over five years. Every single install has been rock solid. It's one of the few products we can say in our industry that it just always works. Literally in five years, we have had one product failure. Literally one, and that was it. Out of all of those installs, they just keep working. This circuit board, although it doesn't look like as much on this side, not only is it efficient, you can't see it here, but on the other side of this circuit board is the rest of the actual integrated circuits. Amazing, amazing wireless, okay? So, reminder for you guys, remember to subscribe, but then also your reminder is that when you're buying wireless, when you're buying your actual wireless antenna, please, for the sake of all things holy, 
do not use the wireless that's built into your CenturyLink cable, whatever your provider is. That wireless is pure garbage. They're billing you $5 a month to rent the product that isn't even that good, okay? Call a company like us, find an integrator to come in, turn that wireless off, and buy something, even at the very least, something like a Planet or an Eero or a product like that. You're talking three to $500. It's going to pay for itself in the first month or two of stability, okay? So remember to subscribe below. Remember to put time into your wireless. Otherwise, happy surfing, you guys. Have a great day.